Hi, this is Teacher Jeffrey. Today's video, we will focus on seed dispersal. Before we begin, if you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button, like, and hit that notification bell to alert you of our upcoming videos. Share these videos to your friends if this helps you better understand the topic. Come, let's dive in. Seed dispersal is very important for plants after seed and fruit are formed. Let us understand this topic by answering this question. 1. What is seed dispersal? 2. Why will plant need to undergo seed dispersal? And 3. How will the seed move away from the parent plant? Last video, we studied about fertilization in plants. We did learn that fertilization occurs when the male and the female gamete fuse to form a zygote. This happens in the ovule. We also learned that a zygote undergoes cell division to form an embryo in the ovule. The ovule develops to become a seed, and the ovary that contains the ovule develops to become a fruit. We will now go to the next stage, seed dispersal. Seed dispersal is the action of spreading across or moving away over a large area. This is according to the Cambridge Dictionary. It means that the seed must move from one area to another. It simply says that the seed must be on the ground or an area away from the parent plant. The seed must be in a new environment. The area or ground must supply all the necessary factors for seed to germinate and become a new plant. The purpose, therefore, of seed dispersal is to ensure that the seed must be in a new environment or a new place. This process will ensure that no competition will occur. The space is critical for seed to germinate when it reaches a new environment. Competition is not only about space to prevent overcrowding, but also for water and sunlight. In our topic, Fertilization in Plants, we use tomato fruit as an example that was formed after fertilization. Tomato as a fruit is fleshy and juicy. Animals eat tomato and together with it is the seed. When animals move to another place, seed is spread out to another location away from the parent plant. Formation of a fleshy and juicy fruit after fertilization is an adaptation used by tomato plant for its seed to be dispersed. The method of seed dispersal is called animal dispersal. There are other methods of seed dispersal used by plants aside from animal dispersal. These are wind, water, and self. Other sources also include gravity. Therefore, there are five methods of seed dispersal. These are animal dispersal, wind dispersal, water dispersal, self dispersal, and gravity. When the fruit or seed drops to the ground or falls on the ground, the method of seed dispersal is gravity. Dandelion, swamp plant, and cottonwood are using wind for seed to be dispersed. These plants have seed that is light, small, feathery, and some have winged structure. This method of dispersal is called wind dispersal. Coconut and mangrove use water as method of seed dispersal. They are usually woody and have a fibrous husk, enabling them to float on water. 
plants with seed containing pods use an explosive method of seed dispersal. It ejects seeds once pods are dry. Pods are usually curled or like a tent spring to violently eject its seed. This method of seed dispersal is also called ballistic dispersal. Let us now check the knowledge learned. Try to answer the following questions. 1. What is seed dispersal? 2. Why will plant need to undergo seed dispersal? 3. How will the seed move away from the parent plant? Let me know your answer by writing it in the comments below. This wraps up our topic for today, seed dispersal. Our next topic is seed germination. Do not forget to share this video to your friends who are taking SPE and O level. Bye for now. This is Teacher Jeffrey. Always remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish.